Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. In today's video, I'll be using Honeybee Stamps Grain and Grunge Paper Collection, also a little bit of their Team Tie-Dye Collection. For stamps, I'm using Riding By. I have the stamps and coordinating Honeycut dies. Then I'll also be using the Bicycle Builder and the Itty Bitty Fall Flower die sets. I know I've said it several times, but I love the Grain and Grunge paper pad. I selected two of the patterns. I have a lighter white grain for the larger panel and a darker grain for that bottom strip. I'll put both of those on some brown cardstock. Put some ATG tape on the back and add this panel onto a scallop rectangle die cut. Next, I'll add my card front onto a card base. I use some ATG tape and also a little bit of liquid adhesive since it does have that stitched edge. I want to make sure it lays nice and flat. This is an American Standard A2 size card, four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. Now it's time to assemble the bicycle, and of course I needed to make a pink bicycle. I've already cut out all of the pieces. I'll start by assembling the bicycle's wheel. I use some silver mirror cardstock for the spokes and some black cardstock for the tire. And I also have black cardstock for that little small circle that goes on the inside of the spokes. The main body of the bike, I use some light pink cardstock. I have some more silver mirror cardstock for the handlebars and some darker pink cardstock for the actual handles. Now I'll attach the wheel to the bike. Put just a little bit of liquid adhesive behind that lower portion of the bike where it holds onto the wheel. Then in the very center of the tire, I'll add the small inside piece using some silver mirror cardstock. I'll put one piece on the back side just to keep it level and then I'll glue the other on the outside. I love that the die set includes a cute little basket and it does have a nice etched detail. You could fill your basket with all kinds of fun little goodies. To attach the basket to the bike, I put just a small bit of liquid adhesive on the left side. And to help it stay in place until I adhere the bike onto the card, I put a small piece of double-sided tape. Now I'll remove the release paper on that tape, add liquid adhesive on the back of the bike, and adhere it onto the front of my card. This bike is so cute. I bought the die set last year, and this is the first time I've used it. I think I definitely need to pull it out some more. I did place some acrylic blocks on top for some added weight while I let that glue adhere. For the sentiment, I've already stamped it out. This is riding by to say, and I'll add the rest of the sentiment on the inside of the card. Decided this would be a birthday card. I'll put my card in my mini Misty so I can get a nice solid impression when I stamp happy birthday. For ink, I'm using Honeybee Stamps Intense Black Ink. It's my favorite black ink for sentiments. I'll remove my card from my mini Misty and add a little extra decoration to the basket. I cut out some white daisy flowers using the itty bitty fall flowers die set. I did use some white shimmer cardstock for the flowers, just for that little extra detail. For the center of the flowers, I'm using the same dark pink cardstock that I used for the handles. Just glue all of those in place. I am using an embellishment wand to pick up that small center of the flower, then pressing it in place after I put a small drop of liquid adhesive. Since this is a birthday card, I decided to add some presents inside the basket on the bike. I'm using the present or package image that's included on the riding by stamp set. Since I don't color images, I'm stamping it on some pattern paper, and this is a small scrap piece I have left over from the Team Tie-Dye collection. I did use the Mini Misty so I could get a solid impression, then I'll use some scissors to fussy cut out that image. And I'm cutting right along that outline stamped edge. On one of the ribbons or twine pieces, I did cut it off, but that's okay since it'll be tucked inside the basket. To give the stamped image a finished look, I'm using a black marker and running it along the very outside edge. That way you won't see the white paper from the inside. 
I'll add some foam dimension on the very top of that image and some double-sided tape on the bottom. Then I'll tuck it inside the bicycle's basket. When I glued the basket onto the card, I made sure not to put the glue all the way to the very edge of the basket. That way there was enough room to tuck in my little present image. To finish off the card, I'll add a little bit of sparkle to the center of the flowers using Nouveau Glitter Drops. This is the enchanting pink color. So there is my finished card and I did make two using this design. I love this bicycle image, it's so much fun. If you are interested in any of the products I used in this video, I do have links provided in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.